Syria's foreign minister arrived in Saudi Arabia for the first time since 2011. Riyadh and Damascus have agreed to reopen embassies and resume flights between the two countries. The move and Faisal Mokhtar's visit to the kingdom are seen as steps towards reintegrating Damascus back into regional politics. This comes as Damascus announced the reopening of its embassy in Tunisia 10 years after it was shut. Tunisia joins the UAE and Egypt in re-establishing relations with the Assad regime. Bashar al-Assad's government found itself isolated in 2011 when it was expelled from the Arab League due to its violent crackdown on the Arab Spring protests. In the decade after the eruption of the civil war, more than 350,000 Syrians were killed, according to the UN. NGOs place this number at over 600,000 with 91% of civilian deaths caused by the Assad regime. However, al-Assad has regained control of most of Syria and while neighbouring countries seek to return refugees back to their homes, many have called for Damascus to be brought back to the Arab League and for ties to be re-established, a move that could happen within weeks.